Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, let's talk about the time of types which are available inside the time of module of Kodu 70. So basically these time of types are used to allocate or request for different types of leaves. So only then the authorities will get a clear view or a clear idea about what kind of leave you are taking. So there are basically time of types like sick leave, then you can you know add on vacations or even personal leaves. So it's very easy to configure this time of type inside the time of module of Odoo 70. For that you have to go to the configuration and inside the configuration of the time of module there you will find this option called the time of types and from there you can configure the type of leave which you are creating okay and then these can be used inside the allocation requests okay now one more thing you have the option to set certain roles inside it so based on that the allocation and all will take place so I'm not wasting your time let's move on to the module and see how to configure the time of type in Odoo so now let's move on and see how time of type is created so for that I'm going to the time of module so here we have the time of module open that and if you go to the configuration there in the configuration you can find this thing called time of types okay so open this time of types and here you can see all the previously created time of types you have types like paid time of sick time of unpaid compensatory days extra time off and so on so you have so much time of types so if you want to create a new one what you have to do is go on and click on the new button here you can specify the name of the time of type which you are going to create so this is just a sample one so i'm going to create one called new time off okay now here you have a section called time of requests so where you have approval which is no validation by time of officer by employees approver by employees approver and time of officer so you can choose any of these option okay so right now or by default it will be you know checked in the column called by time of officer so if no validation is required means you can put it on that and if it's by time of officer you can choose that okay next you have the allocation request so inside this allocation request section you have the first thing which is requires allocation so whether this thing requires allocation or not that should be specified here if yes you can choose yes and if no limit means you can check on this no so here you can see this is the time of requests like if you are choosing yes means time of request need to have a valid allocation and as you can see for no limit time of request can be taken without any prior allocation so that's the requires allocation now you have employee requests so here another employee request you can see extra days request allowed if you're choosing that means user can request an allocation for himself not allowed user cannot require an uh, sorry request an allocation so that's the two things which comes under employee request so currently i'm choosing not allowed here you have approval so approval you have two options which is approved by time of officer and no validation needed so for approval which one do you prefer that can be chosen from here so here in the approval you can see select the level of approval needed in case of request by employee so no validation needed that is the employee's request is automatically approved so validation is not needed similarly you have approved by time of officer that is the employee's request need to be manually approved by the time of officer so you can choose either of these next you have the configuration section okay so here in the configuration you have notified time of officer so nobody will be notified whoever this should be notified to that time of officer should be chosen uh, chosen here so if i'm choosing mark demo means uh you know that time of officer will be notified whenever this time of type is used and then you have the time of uh i mean time taken off in okay before that you have this notified time of officer choose the time of officer who will be notified to approve allocations or time of request if nt nobody will be notified similarly you have take time off in so you have our i mean options like day half day or even hours so i'm putting day then you have deduct extra hours which is once a time off of this type is approved extra hours in attendances will be deducted so when you check this the extra hours will be deducted from the you know attendance now you have allowed to attach supporting documents so if you have any kind of supporting document and all that can be let us if you allow this that document can be attached along with this time of type now in case of sick leaves and all if you have any kind of medical certificates and all you can attach that as well 
Now you have kind of time off. That is, the distinction between work time and absence will be used in the computation of accrual plans rate. So kind of time off. So you have this worked time as well as absence. You can choose any one of them. And then you have the negative cap, which is to allow negative cap. If checked, users can exceed their allocated days and balance can go in negative. So if you want that to happen, then you can check it and the amount in the uh, negative can be given here. So what is an amount in the uh, negative, which is to define the maximum level of negative days, this kind of time off can reach. Value must be at least one. Okay, so if you're checking, this means there should be at least one as the value. And then finally, you have this payroll where the work entry type can be chosen. So it can either be unpaid, sick, pay, time off, paid, time off and all. So I'm putting it as paid, time off. And to display, you can choose a color as well as a cover image. So I'm just putting this image. And if you want to choose a color, then choose it. So I'm choosing this color. Once it's done, what you have to do is save it. Okay. So once you save it, you can see their location, the time offs and all which have come. So that's how you basically configure a new time off type. Okay. So here you can see the time off which we created. Now let's try to open a previously created one. You have this paid time off, just open it and you can see the time off and the allocations till date. Okay. So this is how you basically create a time off type. Okay. And then you can use this time off types inside the time off module. So that's how you configure the time off type in Odoo 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.